Hello everybody, this is Dipped It. Hooray. <laughs> you are watching the super informal, laid back, Dipped It instructional and demo video with me, your host, Ross, the guy who designed all of this shit. So what is Dipped It? Dipped It is a Morse code gate sequencer. The idea is that you plug in a keyboard here and you type characters into the screen, you clock it with an external clock of some kind, and it will output gate sequences. So you type a sequence in here, like the word hello, and flip the start-stop switch up, and it will output the gate sequence in accordance to the rules of Morse code. So let's talk a little bit about what those rules are first. Rhythm is indeed the key to good sending. If your code is to mean anything to others in the radio net, then you've got to send rhythmically. Dits must be uniform and short. Da's uniform and long. Spacing exactly right. Very small, tight spaces between the dits and da's in a character. Are you wondering if proper spacing is really so important? Or is it no more than an extra refinement? The nice thing to do, like neat handwriting. If you think so, you're wrong. Tight spaces are used between dits and das. Longer spacing to separate the characters. And even longer spacing than that between words and groups. So for starters, one dit, which is one dot, is going to be equal to one clock pulse in the context of Eurorack. One dash is a gate that is held high for the length of three dits. In between each letter in Morse code, a Morse code operator typically waits three dits or three clock pulses to wait for the next character. This gives the person on the other end the ability to hear uh, spaces between each letter so it's not an endless string of dots and dashes. The other thing that Morse operators do is when they're at the end of a word, or in the context of this module, a space in the text buffer, they wait seven dits or seven clock pulses between words. This signals that you're at the end of a string of text and you're getting ready for another one. Oh my God, he is still talking. When is this fucking video gonna end? I'm so bored. I don't care about Morse code. To make this musically relevant in the context of dit dit, um, I gave the user the ability to configure the weighting of the dits to the DAWs. Uh, I also gave the user the ability to change the spacing. And in addition to that, um, you can turn the gate length off basically to use it as a trigger sequencer. So for starters, uh, if you hit F1, that toggles between two to one weighting. So now a DAW is two pulses long instead of three and three to one waiting. In a musical context, that would basically change things from an even two or four four feel to a triplet feel or a three four feel. So that's F1. By default, it's three to one. F2 turns letter spacing off. So it gets rid of that three dit rest between each letter. Um, that takes away the kind of inherent triplet feel to everything. F3 turns off word spacing. So right now we don't have uh, words, but if I do hello, goodbye, now we have words. So at the end of the O, it'll go straight to the G. Looping can be enabled and disabled. So when looping is disabled and you've reached the end of your string of text, end transmission is displayed on the screen. This is especially useful if you are in your apocalypse bunker and you're trying to send Morse code messages from uh, one bunker to another. You need the message to stop looping at some point. So that will help with that. And then finally, in this mode, you have trigger mode versus uh, Morse mode. So trigger mode ignores all of the gate lengths and it shortens everything to a tiny trigger. And this is very useful for sequencing drums and different events in your system. 
Uh, it's especially advantageous to use this if you're using the separate dit and da out, which I expect people would primarily be using this for to sequence two different drums or two different voices or what have you. Um, so in addition to that, when you're in text input mode, you have the ability to save and load different sequences to different slots. So if I type in the word one here and hit control S for save, you get prompted for a yes, no menu. You can then choose a memory location between one and eight. I'm gonna save the word one to slot, sh uh, to slot one, and yes, I'm definitely sure I wanna do that. So now that you have these sequences in this menu, you can recall them with control O if you wanted to, let's say, edit them or look at them. Um, there's nothing saved here yet because I haven't saved anything. So I'm gonna just do that really quickly and fast forward. So once you have your text buffers saved, maybe they're little haikus, maybe they're little notes for yourself, like things you have to pick up at the grocery store. When you go back into animation mode and you flip it up, you have the ability to recall all of these sequences in real time using the numbers on the keyboard. So right now we're on eight, because that's what was in the buffer. But if I push number one, it'll switch to O N E because that's what I saved into the buffer. If I push number two, it'll switch to T, W, O, et cetera, et cetera. Between recalling these different sequences and the numbers and toggling things like letter spacing and da dit waiting and word spacing, um, you have a very performable sequencer here. Playing with the waiting and enabling and disabling spaces is a really easy way to spice up your sequence. So we're going to start by playing with the da dit waiting. Next, we're going to enable and disable letter spacing. A really fun thing to do in animation mode is to call up different sequences with the numbers on the keyboard. That's pretty much it. I would like to thank Ben Davis, uh, my very good friend. He used to work with me a long time ago. He did the programming on this module. Um, I'm really grateful for that. I wouldn't have been able to do this myself because I'm a big dummy. Um, and we worked together to bring you what I think is a pretty cool um, instrument. So um, please buy it. And if you don't buy it, maybe tell some friends about it. Thanks everybody, bye bye.